creating a court or pleading paper template varies slightly across jurisdiction but in this video i will guide you through the different formats using google doc so the first thing we do is to open our google doc so here is my new page google doc you can also open it through your email so i will title the document format for pleading document now before we continue it is important to insert our line number even though it is not mandatory for jurisdiction but inserting line numbers will help us when making references to our document to insert line number we click on the tools then click on line numbers right here you click on show number line or show line number and click on restart on each page also ensure that it is applied to all or to and to the entire document next you ensure that it is double space so you come right here click on these three dots click on line spacing the double now we can just click on enter one two three four five to 25 so we are creating a 25 line number so to go to the next page you click on page break i will use Control enter again we continue 25 25 again Control enter that is our page break and we'll continue again depending on the number of pages that you have for your court papers so that is it so that is how we create our line number for a court or a pleading document so the next step is to ensure that the margins are one inch on all sides to do that we click on file then click on page setup so just ensure that the margins are one inches on all sides and also that it is applied to the old documents so okay so now we start the first thing we do on our court paper is to write the title of the court so at the top of the document you write the name of the court for example in the united states states district court for example for the right here you can put the district name right here district then right here you insert the state name so this title should be centered so i will i will highlight it and come right here click on center align and again you can bold it so that is the uh, title of the court what comes next should be the case caption below the title the case caption is centered or aligned left listing the names of the plaintiffs and defendants followed by the case number so for this example, I will use John Mark, John Mark as the plaintiff, then versus our user Jane, Jane Dane as the defendant. Now, 
we are done with this what should come next on this right hand side should be the case number to do that you can just click on the first on uh, line four click your tab one two three four five click your tab five times then you put your control control brackets control brackets yes they come again tap one two three four five come down again tap one two three four five one two three four five tap next one two three four five tap next one two three four five tap so if you can't do this you can just draw a line on this but it is difficult to use um google doc to draw a straight line so it's better you use this uh this uh single bracket to demarcate between the um case caption and the case number so right here i'll write the case number for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is my case number. So what should come next? What come next should be the title of the pleading. So the title of the pleading should be centered and written in bold. For example, the title for the pleading is, for example, complaint for damages. So this should be in bold. So I will, I will highlight it. I will bold it. Then I will come to, come right here for more. Click on the align. Then I will center it. So that is the title for the pleading. So what comes next basically should be the uh, the body of the document. So what comes next should be the body of the document. You can type as much as you want to type depending on the document this can go to more than two four five seven pages depending on the case you are working on after you are done with the body of documents what come next should be the dates so you can put the dates after the the document so i'll put the date right here put the, the date right here then Next should be the signature block. This includes a block for the attorney's signature, the name for the attorney, the address, the phone number, and the bar number. So after the dates, what comes next should be, for example, you can write respectfully submitted. And next, next you can put a colon for the George. Sorry, next you can put a colon for the attorney to sign. The next should be the attorney's name, followed by the law firm, the law firm name. Followed by the the address, followed by the city, city and state, then the the bar number, then the uh, phone number. Next is the address. Um, yes, the email address. Next is the email address. Then 
the attorney 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 for plaintiff next is lastly is the attorney for plaintiff so this is how you uh, write the signature block then this should be aligned to the right so i, I will just alight everything right here and i will press my tab two three four five six seven eight nine nine times so this is my signature block so this is my signature block finally most jurisdictions require consecutive page numbering at the bottom center or the bottom right to do that you click on insert you look for page number we come right here to start the page number from the first page, click on it, and the page number appears right at the bottom right. So this is how to format a court or pleading document. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, leave them in the comment section and I will respond as soon as possible.